have you read about Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture and how he composed music to celebrate an important event in Russian history? Let's hear what conductor Emil de Kuh has to say about the 1812 Overture. You might be wondering why Tchaikovsky wrote his famous 1812 Overture. Tchaikovsky wrote music for many different reasons. Sometimes he wrote music because he wanted to, because he was so moved to write it, it was in his heart, and he just had to put it on paper. And that's what we call inspiration. What moved this Russian composer so strongly? It was a dramatic battle that took place in his homeland many years before he was born. Now, let's get ready for listening activity one. The Russians battle the French. In this listening activity, you'll hear about the war between the Russians and the French in 1812, and how Tchaikovsky's music retells and honors one of the greatest military battles in history. To tell the story of the war, Tchaikovsky used music that represented each nation. To represent the Russians, he used the Russian national anthem, Russian church music, and traditional folk tunes. To represent the French forces, he used the French national anthem called La Marseillaise. Tchaikovsky repeated changed and used fragments, or parts, of these melodies throughout the music. He wove these melodies together, along with other music he composed, to tell the tale of how the battle began, the events that took place during the battle, and who won. In Listening Activity 1, we'll step through the story. You'll hear how the battle unfolds and the important musical passages that describe each moment. Let's begin. In 1812, the French army, led by Napoleon Bonaparte, was the greatest and most feared army in the world. It had already swept through Europe, conquering country after country, when France declared war on Russia. Russian religious leaders knew that their army was not strong enough to win a battle against the French, so they called on the people to pray for safety and peace. People gathered in churches all across Russia to ask for God's help. To recall the Russians praying for safety, cellos and violas play a Russian church hymn named God Preserve Thy People. The hymn's slow tempo and serious melody portray the mood of the Russian people. The sound of twelve string instruments playing alone, without the rest of the orchestra, helps you imagine how unprotected the Russians feel. Despite these prayers, the French army crosses the border into Russia. The snare drum plays a marching rhythm to represent the approaching armies. The Russians attack and fighting follows. String sections play back and forth, creating the feeling of French and Russian armies dodging, moving, advancing, and retreating.
the sound of the full orchestra brings the battle to a climax. Powerful bursts of the French national anthem de Marseillaise move through different brass instruments, telling you the French are winning on all fronts. The Russians realize that their weak military cannot defeat the French. Only unity, faith, and the strength of the Russian people can beat back Napoleon and his army. A Russian folk melody recalls happy village life, far away from the battlefields. The dance-like tune played by the flute and the sound of the tambourine help you imagine dancing Russian villagers. Back to the battlefield, where the French and Russian armies continue their fight. Fragments of France's Le Marseillaise, played by the brass instruments, alternate with fragments of the Russian folk tune, played by the strings. At the battle's turning point, the Russian cannon shots challenge a loud and powerful fragment of the melody of the Marseillaise. A long, descending passage played by the strings represents the French forces beginning to retreat. As the Russians begin to force back the French, winter arrives bringing a deep freeze that cripples the French army. Tchaikovsky's spiraling string and woodwind passages help you imagine the icy winter winds blowing. The French army suffers terrible losses in the freezing Russian winter. Russian prayers for victory are answered. Church bells ring. The Russian hymn, played by the full orchestra, alternates with the spiraling string and woodwind passages that symbolize the winter winds and the French retreat. Tchaikovsky's celebratory theme announces the Russian victory. Cannons fire and church bells ring triumphantly. The Russian national anthem plays beneath it all.